What's up guys, it's Chris, and today we are going to make the easiest, most delicious, protein-packed French toast. Stick around. <laughs> So breakfast is one of the most important meals of the day. You definitely want to treat it like any other meal and prioritize protein. I always try to get 20 to 30 grams of protein at least per meal, especially breakfast. And a lot of people really wimp out on breakfast and just grab like a cliff bar on the way out the door, which is terrible, don't do that. Make yourself something that's well-rounded and pay attention to those protein grams and shoot for that range. It doesn't have to be boring or complicated and it doesn't have to be eggs every day. You don't have to get egg boredom. So try some new recipes, find some things that work and get them in your rotation. This is a really fun one. It's really easy, super fast, and it tastes delicious. So let's run through the ingredients real quick and show you what we're working with. First, you need some bread. And I am using Killer Dave's bread. We love Killer Dave's. We used to get the green kind all the time, but I just tried this thin sliced and the thin slice is great. Um, use whatever bread you like. This is good though because for one slice of bread you get four grams of protein. We're gonna use two slices of bread. So straight off the bat, we're getting eight grams of protein just from our bread. And it's only gonna give us 28 carbs, which really is a good amount. It's a, like, it's a sweet spot. Um, always, you know, adjust your meals for your body size, your activity level. What works for one person is not universal. So your needs are unique to you. I challenge you to go check out your bread right now or your muffins or your whatever it is that you snack on for breakfast. Take a look and see what you find. Let me know if you're happy with it or if you're like surprised, like you had no idea. Sometimes all it takes is an extra five minutes in the bread aisle comparing some charts to make sure you're getting the best fix. You don't wanna be hungry by 10 a.m. Next, for the batter, we are going to use an egg and of course, some protein powder. The protein powder is going to be split in between the batter and also I'm going to make a delicious vanilla glaze. It is going to be sweet and it's gonna taste super good. It's gonna be a nice little topping for your French toast and it's what's gonna really amp up that protein count. So we're gonna do a full scoop of protein but we're gonna divide it. And for protein, let's talk about protein really quick because there are so many different kinds of protein on the market and you don't have to spend a crap ton of money with big multi-level marketing affiliated types of protein companies out there. Now I'm not saying that those qualities are bad, I'm just saying that you can get away with a much more affordable approach. And what we really like is to just get an isolate. I like to get a whey isolate and typically in this for one scoop you'll get your protein like 25 to 30 grams for a scoop. And then your fats usually at one gram and total carbs are usually at two to three grams. And sugar is usually at one. Those are like the main points that I check for. Um, and you also wanna try to keep your ingredient list short and clean. Also in the batter, we're gonna throw in cinnamon and nutmeg. Then in the icing, we're gonna use some vanilla. And we're gonna use a few drops of sweetener. You can use sweetener of your choice. I'm using stevia. This is a caramel flavor from Sprouts. Our friend Cell gave this to us and it is really good. So we're gonna put a few drops of it sparingly in. Um, we're also gonna use for the icing some of this almond milk. We're gonna put a pinch of salt in the batter and we're actually gonna cook with real butter, my friends. This, we're gonna use just a teaspoon total. Um, we're gonna use a little bit of it to fry up our French toast. It's gonna bring that like authentic French toast flavor that you crave. If you really want to save on your calories, you can skip the butter and just use some of this spray. One teaspoon of the butter, it's gonna add about 33 calories and 3.7 grams of fat. So in the grand scheme of this recipe, I think that it's worth it to really just have that true rich flavor and enjoy it. But if you're tight on your numbers, cut this out and 
you could cut out our topping, which is gonna be pepitas. I really love the pepitas on top. They add a nice crunch and they add a nice texture. They have probably 40 calories in this little amount, but it goes a long way and it really amps up as a garnish. Um, I love pepitas on a lot of things. I love them in salads. I love them in any sort of like a taco bowl. I love them in cottage cheese, in yogurt, like anytime you just want a little extra pow, pumpkin seeds are where it's at. I really like this brand. I get it at Costco. It goes on sale once in a while and it lasts me a really long time. So that's the ingredients, pretty easy. Let's whip it up. The very first thing you wanna do is take your bread out and you wanna lay it on your plate so that it can get a little dried out and a little crusty. So I'm using two pieces. And this is something that I remember doing as a kid. I used to eat a lot of French toast as a kid and I remember critical step is you dry out the bread. Um, you wanna do that so that when it's time to dip it in the batter, that batter just absorbs right into it. Because if you take really fresh bread that's super soft and moist, that batter is just gonna kinda cling to the outside and it's not gonna seep in the way that you want it to. So take that bread out. Next, find your container that you're going to make the batter in. I like to use this little Tupperware. I have a stack of them on board. And what I like about it is this piece of bread fits perfectly in here. So as I'm dipping, and letting it sit, the entire thing can get submerged. So we're gonna start with our batter. Crack your egg in there. After you get your egg in there, we're gonna just split up half of this protein powder. Half goes into the batter and half will stay in this cup. It's really not critical to be too exact with that, but with the ratios that I have in my recipe, it works out perfect. And that uh, protein glaze is the perfect consistency for a drizzle. So I like to measure it out exactly because it's just the way I like it. So the protein powder is in there. Next, I'm gonna add in my flavoring, our nutmeg. Nutmeg and cinnamon are just a great combo. I use cinnamon a lot. It's probably my favorite sweet thing to use. I also put just a pinch of salt in the batter. The milk we're going to put in the batter and the icing. And I do measure this out. I use my scale for everything. It's just easier. So if you want the full recipe, go to my blog and everything's there with all the exact amounts. IreneIronFitness.com. And then next, our vanilla. I like to pour this in the cap just in case I have an incident with shaky coffee hands, then I don't ruin everything I've done. So use your cap, a few drops is all you need. And then our sweetener. So I'm going to do two drops in here, one drop in here. A warning about sweetener, a little bit goes a long way. It can ruin your dish. One drop too many will ruin anything for me. So if you're not experienced with it, go easy and error on the side of undersweet. You can always, well, you can't always add more, but don't overkill it, it will ruin it. And that's it. So all we're gonna do now is mix this stuff up. I'm gonna get a fork. I'm also gonna flip my bread over to try to get the other side dry as well. This batter gets a little bit clumpy because of the protein powder, so you're gonna need to give it a little extra mix than you would a traditional French toast, but it's worth it. And then your glaze. very easy and I played around with this recipe and I wowed myself really with how delicious this glaze turned out at first sight you might think that it won't be so good but it is so good you 
you really don't even need any sort of syrup or anything with this because this glaze is like a frosting for your protein French toast. I just got the pan on and I did portion out my butter because I like to have everything ready to go. So this is one teaspoon combined and I just split it up so that it's one dot per piece of bread. So I'm gonna get uh, my first piece of bread into here. Now, in order for the macros, maybe you're counting macros, maybe you're not. Maybe you just want a well-rounded breakfast. It doesn't matter. If you are counting though, and you want to take advantage of all 40 grams of protein, you really need to use all of the batter and all of the glaze. So keep that in mind. And I try to make sure that I'm gonna get half of the batter to absorb into the first piece. And then that way, the other half of the batter will go into the second piece. So I'm going to drop some butter onto the pan. Let that melt around. This bread is starting to get soggy and fall apart, which is what you want. So drop it over. Of course, spread that butter around. And we're gonna let it do its thing. Um, just should take a couple minutes on one side, flip it, get it golden on the other side. While that piece is working, I'm gonna get this piece in to start soaking it up. And another great recipe, if you want another like carby type of a protein breakfast without the meat is my protein cream of rice. That is super popular on our YouTube channel, on our recipes playlist. And it's just like, it was my go-to for months and it's super fast and really easy and really filling. So check that out, we'll link it. I also have a lot of really good grab and go style. So I really like to do meats like in meatballs or patties. So for breakfast, you can just grab one or two or however many you want and you don't have to worry about portioning it out or anything. You can pair it along with a piece of fruit or whatever carb source you like and call it a breakfast. So this first piece is rocking. I'm going to flip it. I'm gonna get my second piece on and this whole thing is gonna cook up super fast. So now that our first piece is complete and our second piece is cooking, we're gonna take almost half of this glaze and put it on as almost like a sandwich. Because remember, half of your protein is coming from this protein powder or a big chunk of your protein. And then the next piece, we're just gonna lay right on top of that. Okay, time for the magic to happen. So place your second piece on. I like to do a nice sprinkle of cinnamon. And then you take your drizzle. And you just drizzle. And look at that consistency. It's like perfectly gooey, yet runny enough for a sweet, sweet drizzle. And remember that's where all your protein goodness is. I keep saying it because that's the whole point of what we're doing today. And then finally, your little crunch. Voila. So there you have it, protein French toast. Try to make your breakfasts hit that sweet spot for protein. This is also gonna be, you know, something that's good for a pre or post workout. Sometime where you're getting your carbs in there, make sure you eat your carbs when it's appropriate in the appropriate amounts and enjoy what you're cooking, enjoy what you're eating and have fun with it. So thank you so much for watching. Catch you next time.
It's not my fault.